Nation of Fit and Ten, welcome to day 24. And I think yesterday I may have said it's day 22, and then that means two days in a row I said it was day 22, but actually yesterday was day 23. But maybe I did say it was day 23. I have to go watch. I have to go watch the video. I just feel like I may have said it was day 22. If I did, I meant it was day 23. Today's day 24, obviously, and that means we are officially over the one third mark. Well, basically, right? We well, we're definitely over the one third mark. And as always, I want you to really try to push yourself to do as best as you can with your numbers. A lot of you, your food choices are getting better. And this is, uh, I don't wanna say the most important point, but it's very, very important. I would say, well, maybe not for the sake of the, ch well, it's hard to say, but I kinda wanna say, <laughs> Now, this is more important than getting your numbers. Food choices are everything. Nutrient-dense, healthy, healthy. I'm just going to say healthy, okay? We can turn, there's a lot of ways to term things healthy or unhealthy. Nutrient-dense food, let's just say that. Food that gives us a lot of nutrients, that help, food that helps to prevent disease on a whole. This is really, really important, all right? But as we are heading into the second uh, third of this challenge. I want you to uh, think about trying to get those numbers if you're not getting those numbers. Now, some of you are getting those numbers and that's great. The rest of you, I want you to really try to get those numbers and also remember to stipulate types of foods that you have. Traveling and food, what to do. All right, so um, I'll just be honest with you and the <laughs> This is no judgment on anybody. I'm not judging you if you happen to, if you just went away and then you maybe you messaged me, just hypothetically, let's say, and you said, hey, uh, I'm, we're away or I'm away or whatever. Somebody's away and uh, we can't, uh, what do we do? What do we do for food? Um, so, you know, I've traveled, I don't know how many times uh, and always, always, I know that's me and I'm not trying, I'm not here to compare, but my point is, is I am, you know, I'm not like, special in any kind of way, right? The, the difference is, is that I just chose that food was really, really important to me. So I found a way to do it. That's my point. Where there's a will, there's a way. Okay. Now, could there be an exception to this? If you're traveling and you, you could not, you know, uh, measure your food, what would be maybe an exception? Maybe if you're uh, hiking through the mountains for weeks on end, that might be a little bit hard because, I mean, you can take a scale with you, but it's really just about having the food availability. And that's what would make it really, really hard. So uh, listen, if you happen to be going on an excursion through the mountains for several weeks, I mean, could I still do it then? Maybe I could still do it then, I don't know. Okay, maybe that'll give you that, I'll give you that off. but. Uh, if you're just traveling somewhere, it's very, very easy. You can pack a mini grill with you. You can pack a small rice cooker with you and you can cook all your food in that if you're in a hotel. I've done it many, many times. I have competed in this situation and competition is totally different because competition is even way more specific with your food, like super specific, like ultra specific, like specifically you have to eat this and you can't have any salt and blah, 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 blah. It's really, really specific, especially with amounts. Uh, also, my food scale, I don't know how big your food scale is. Mine is like this big, so I can just throw it in my luggage. That's not a big deal at all. And I've been doing this since, you know, the first competition that I went away, and, and this was in Toronto, and I was in a hotel, you know, and as I mentioned, I was competing, I was 19. And uh, so it's just matter, it's just a matter of finding, uh, it's just planning, preparing, and uh, getting, you know, somewhat creative. But if you decide, that, and I'm not suggesting that you think this, but if you happen to decide, let's say, I don't know, something is impossible, you will not be able to do it. It doesn't matter how easy it is. If you decide it's impossible, because you've already made up your mind that it's not possible, right? Then you won't be able to do it. So this is not a judgment on my end. Um, I'm really trying not to judge because, you know, what difference, well, really what difference does it make if I am judging? But I'm not judging, okay? I'm just saying that, where there is a will, there is a way. And if you decide that you're gonna do it, you will do it, all right? Now, if you happen to already have gone on your vacation or you know, you've know you already spent the 
the last number of days away from it. Well, let's not harp on it. Let's just move forward, okay? But I'm gonna tell you right now, it's very, very easy. Whether you're in a hotel or what I do now is I try to always get an Airbnb. If I get an Airbnb, you know, chances are it's, it's gonna be good because I'll have a kitchen. That's the whole point of me doing an Airbnb. Although I have stayed in hotels before with kitchen as well. But I've also stayed in hotels without kitchens. And uh, as I mentioned, food scale, grocery store, uh, portable fridge. And um, I have brought um, my small rice cooker. Well, I don't think I have that same rice cooker anymore. But anyways, I just get a small rice cooker. They're super easy to pack because they're not very big and you can cook anything in a rice cooker. All right, so I know you might think um, that's a lot of work. Here's another option that you can do. If you're only gone for a couple days, just pre-make all your food. I did this a couple of years ago when I went to the North Americans and that was a bodybuilding show and it was in Pittsburgh and I stayed in a hotel and it had no kitchen. I just pre-made all my food and it's actually really easy because everything is done. I put it in my portable fridge. I packed it up and I put it on the plane and everything was done. I arrived at my destination. I put some cold packs in there just to make the food last. I think I even, for, I think I even froze certain foods. And, um, and that was it. And when I got to my destination, I didn't have to think at all. Everything was done. Everything was done. I didn't have to buy food. I didn't have to do anything. It was all done. Okay, so it's very, very possible. All right, so uh, food scale, grocery store, and either you're staying in a place with a kitchen or, uh, or you're not, take a portable grill with you, take a rice cooker. By the way, the rice cooker, I made the best frigging uh, meat both, uh, I made, I remember making some ground beef in it as well, some chicken, and it was just, it was awesome. It took a little bit longer to cook, but man, it was really, really good. Some of the best meats I've ever had. I also cooked rice in there, obviously. And I cooked potato in it as well, all right? So, where there is a will, there is a way. Definitely, okay? And that really took me seven minutes. Okay, let's get to the message of the day. Probably the easiest thing to do is, especially if you're only going away for a couple days, is exactly the latter point that I made. Just pre-make your food, put it in a portable uh, fridge, and just take it with you. It's super easy. It's not hard at all. You're either going to make food there, or you're going to have to go out and wait and pay for the food and get it, or you pre-make it and take it with you. Like, you know, so, I, but I understand what it is with a lot of people. It, it is more about like, ah, this is a huge nuisance. But like anything, even with myself, there are days where it's like, man, I got to take out the kitchen garbage, which is really not a big deal. But in my mind, I make it a big deal. And, and then I put it off and then whatever, you know, it just, uh, everything is as big of a deal as we make it and as small as a deal as we make it. Okay. Within reason. And this, I believe really applies to, uh, when you're traveling with food. Okay. And if you pre-make your food, Okay, I mean, if you're buying it at a grocery store at your destination and you're making it, um, then it's the same It's the same thing. But really, if you pre-make your food, if you make all your food, you are saving money too. You are, arguably, you are saving time and you're saving money. So really, at the end of the day, it's actually easier. Really. It's actually easier. It's not easier in the moment of having to make your food, but once you have it with you, you're, you, know, you don't have to think about it. Everything's ready to go. All right, let's get the message of the day. And uh, where's my message of the day on this day 24? Success begins and ends with personal responsibility. Identify what needs to be done. Take action. Identify what needs to be done and take action. And we, we, you know, I know we all hate hearing this, but it's, it's true. It applies to, you know, so many aspects of our lives, including myself. Listen, I'm not saying I'm not guilty in many ways. Success begins and ends with personal responsibility. Identify what needs to be done and take action. I don't really need to say more than that, right? But the, but the more, well, maybe I'll just say this. The more responsibility we take, the more control we have. The more responsibility we take, the more control we have, okay? Positive energy, positive vibes, believe in yourself, and for the love of God, give some gratitude, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. See ya.